Well, you have similar kinds of data about the moon as about the Earth. What is the eccentricity of the orbit of the uh, uh, moon? 0.055. Okay. Again, remember how I said compare things to the Earth so we can have a, a reference frame. Is the moon's orbit more elliptical or is it less elliptical than the Earth? Okay. So compare 0.055 to 0.017. The eccentricity of the moon is 0.055. The eccentricity of the Earth, 0.017. Which one is a bigger number? Point zero five five or point zero one seven. If you divide them, what do you get? One two three. One two three. You get fifty five over seventeen. Fifty five is bigger than seventeen. Let me see. How many times bigger? About three times bigger. Okay. So that means the moon's orbit is three times more elliptical than Earth's orbit. Three times more elliptical, okay? So if the sun is here, if the Earth's orbit looks like this, I'm just going to exaggerate. See it's how it's elliptical? The moon's orbit is even more elliptical, three times more elliptical. So I'm just going to exaggerate. Something like that. See, it's more obviously elliptical than Earth's orbit is elliptical. You see that? When the Earth is, uh, when the Moon is far from the Earth, what do we call that? What position? Oh, that was many lectures ago. When the Moon is far from the Earth, it is in its apogee. Okay. As a matter of fact, that's true for any satellite that's going around the Earth, even a natural satellite. When the satellite is far from us, we call it its apogee. When the satellite is close to us, we call it perigee. Okay? So when the moon is close to us, we call it its perigee. Okay, what other data? Inclination of the orbit to the ecliptic. What does that mean? The its orbit, if you look at it, you, we, we have to look at it uh, with the edge on in order to understand what that means. If the Earth's orbit, look at it from edge, edge view. This is the sun. This is Earth. The Earth's orbit is like, a, imagine a straight line. The Earth is doing this, right? The moon's orbit is tilted by 5 degrees. This is 5 degrees. Moon's orbit is like that. You see? From Earth. So moon's orbit is tilted by 5 degrees from Earth's orbit. If you remember, I had mentioned that earlier when we were talking about what topic? It starts with the topic E. And then C. And then L. Yeah, eclipses. What did I mention? I said, why don't solar eclipses happen every month? Why don't lunar eclipses happen every month? And what was the answer? Because of this tilt. If the moon's orbit had been like this, right? If the moon's orbit had been like that, what would have happened? Every month you would have had a solar eclipse. Every month you would have had a lunar eclipse. You see? So that's that. Because it's tilted, you don't have an eclipse every month. Inclination of the equator to the orbit. So what does that mean? Well, that means whatever the, tilt, the Earth's tilt means. Earth's tilt is 23 and a half. So that means the Earth's axis is tilted by 23 and a half with respect to the vertical, right? So what does this mean? 
That means if you were to draw the moon, let me draw it bigger, and this is the orbit of the moon, right? Its axis is tilted from the vertical by 7 degrees. You see that? This is the orbit of the moon. The axis is like that. The vertical is like that. This is the axis of the moon. And this angle is 7. So which one is tilted more, the earth or the moon? Which one is tilted more with respect to the vertical? The earth is tilted more, right? The moon is less. Okay, radius is uh, talking about how big the moon is. So if you were to draw the moon, let's say I draw the earth like this. If you were to draw the moon, how big should you draw it? You should draw it about 27% the size of the earth. So what does that mean, 27%? That means how many of the earth, the moons should you be able to fit across the earth? 27%, uh, that's about uh, 1 over 0.27. That's roughly about 3. Um, probably about 3.5, huh? Something like that. So you should be able to draw the moon as such a size so that you can fit three of them and you can fit about a half of them. You see? That's how big the moon is in comparison to the Earth. There's two, uh, uh, there for Pluto and Charon, uh, that's different. Pluto and its moon Charon the, Char the moon Charon is so big compared to its planet. It's not, you, you can't fit that many of them, you see. But for Earth, the, its moon is quite small compared to it. So if you draw any smaller than that or any bigger, you, you've drawn it too big. The mass, 7.348 times 10 to the 22, how, big is, uh, how massive is it? 0.0123, the mass of the Earth, okay? Roughly, what that means is about a hundred times less massive than the Earth, rough on the average. Density, okay? So now this is an important thing. What's density? It's, remember, density was uh, the mass divided by its volume. Uh, the Earth's density, the Earth's density was 5.52 gram per cubic centimeter. The Moon's density is 3.36 gram per cubic centimeter. So, of course, which one is denser? Earth is much denser. Moon's density is more similar to the density of Earth's crust, only the crust. So it's kind of similar to the density of the crust of Earth. What does that mean? The crust of the Earth is mainly what? Rock. Just rocky. That means the moon as a whole is a big, giant, huge rock. Okay? It doesn't have those heavier elements, nickel, iron, uh, sulfur, silicon, all that other heavier things. The moon is just mainly rocky, you see. Surface gravity, remember we talked about that? That's how much you would weigh on that planet. The surface gravity of the moon, 1.63 meters per second squared. So if you dropped an object, that's how fast it would accelerate. And then when you compare it to the Earth, it's one-sixth of Earth's gravity, okay? So if a person weighs... I'll choose an easy number. If a person weighs 180 pounds on Earth, how much would they weigh on the moon? Hundred eighty pounds on Earth. How much would you weigh on moon? Do you need this number? No, because we already know that this number is one sixth 
of the gravity of the Earth. So you don't even need to use this. Just divide 180 by 6. Okay? One sixth of 180. Well, I chose a number that is divisible by 6 on purpose, so that's what? Uh, 30 pounds, right? The fastest way to lose weight, just go to the moon. I mean, you will look the same, <laughs> okay? But at least you will think you weigh less, so, you know, your self-esteem will go up. <laughs> okay? So, uh, 180 pounds, you weigh only 30 on the moon. Escape velocity. Those two are, you, are always related. If, you, if the planet or the moon has less gravity, it also is easier to escape from that planet or moon. Okay, that makes sense. Because if it has less gravity, it's not going to trap you as easily. It's going to be easier to escape. So the escape velocity of the moon, 2.38 kilometers per second, 5,000 miles per hour, roughly. What was the escape velocity of the Earth? The Earth, escape velocity of Earth was about... 11 kilometers per second, escape velocity of moon, 2.38 kilometers per second. We said this was roughly 25,000 miles per hour. This one is roughly 5,000 miles per hour. If I divide the two by 25 over 5, again, roughly 5. Okay? That means it's five times harder to escape the Earth than to escape the moon, okay? So which one are you going to spend more fuel? The rocket. You're going to spend about five times more fuel trying to escape the Earth's gravity than the moon's gravity, right? A lot of fuel. For the moon, it's not as hard, you see? Albedo, remember that one we were talking about, the reflectivity, okay? Again, not all the tables are necessarily going to agree. The other table we were looking at earlier, I believe the, it said the moon was 12%. 12% reflectivity. According to this, 7%, okay? So roughly in that range of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that means most of the energy coming from the sun, it absorbs... Only 7 to 12% it reflects back. So very little reflectivity, very little, very low albedo. So it's more, looks like a black object. Black objects, black colored objects absorb a lot. They don't reflect, you see. That's why you, on a hot sunny day, do you want to wear, be wearing black? No, because it's going to absorb the energy of the sun, they reflect very little. You see, you don't want to be wearing black. So don't wear black on the summer uh, weather. Okay, the Earth's was 0.37. So these are some of the data of the moon.